Let's have a continuation of our lecture video in Integral Calculus with the topic Application of Definite Integral, Centroid of a Solid of Revolution by Integration. Now, considering the area bounded by this curve, the uh, y-axis and the x-axis, if we rotate it, if, if we rotate this area in the x-axis, so the x-axis will become the axis of rotation, then we will form a solid figure. So we will form a solid figure and to for to uh, solve for the the uh, volume of the solid figure we have this formula volume is equal to integral of dv and which is already explained in the previous videos using the three methods in solving for the volumes now with this figure form solid figure form we will need to find the centroid and to find the centroid of this figure we have the formulas v x bar is equal to integral of xc dv and for y bar we have v y bar is equal to integral of yc dv and this xc and yc are the location of the center of the area strip from the point of origin okay and we need to take note also that in solids of revolution the centroid is always found along the axis of revolution so if we consider this uh, solid figure here that is being formed if we rotate it around x-axis therefore we have the center located at either here or here or here so it will always be along the axis of revolution and what we just we're, we're just uh, going to solve here is the location of this point therefore if the uh, rotation the axis of rotation is at x axis you will therefore conclude that y bar is equal to zero and we will just solve for the value of x bar so same is true if the axis of rotation is in y axis therefore we can conclude that x bar is equal to zero if the axis of rotation is located at a certain line for example this line here therefore we can conclude that if it is rotating here then the the if this is uh, x is equal to uh, say x is equal to 2 line x is equal to 2 therefore bar x is equal to 2 so or that is uh, yeah that is bar x is equal to 2 okay so wherever is the axis of rotation therefore you can find the centroid there now let's solve the following example so we have two examples for this video we have number one find the centroid of the volume formed by revolving around x-axis the area in the first quadrant bounded by the curve y squared is equal to x squared times 1 minus x squared and the x-axis so first let's sketch the, the figure in order for us to have an idea where to find the limits this is y and x so using this equation here if x is equal to 0, therefore y is equal to 0. If x is equal to 1, therefore y is equal to, this is y squared equals 1, 1 minus 1 squared. So that becomes y is equal to 0. Okay? And then if x is equal to 
say 0.5, we have their 0.43. If x is equal to 0.25, we have their 0.24. If x is equal to 0.75, we have their 0.5. Okay, we can just pick some points here in order to sketch the curve. So this is the curve. So we have here if one if uh, if x is equal to zero, y is equal to zero. If uh, x is equal to one, y is equal to one. If x is equal to point five. Then y is equal to 0 0.3, 0 0.75 for x, we have 0 0.5 for y. So you are able to sketch the curve. Now, it says there, find the centroid of the volume formed by revolving around the x-axis. So the axis of rotation is the x-axis. Therefore, we can conclude now that y bar is equal to 0. And we are going to use the vertical area strip. The reason is that if we use the horizontal area strip, it will touch the, it will touch the uh, boundaries at, or it will touch the, air, the, the area strip will touch the boundary at the two point. So, no, that is against the rule. Using the formula for volume, so what we need to do here is first find the volume in order to use these formulas in order to have the value for volume. So we have here volume is equal to, and what method are we going to use if we have a vertical area strip? And it is connected to the rotating axis. That will be the this method. So at this method, we have pi integral of y squared dx. And since this is dx, we have x1 to x2. Because if we rotate this uh, area strip, it will form a coin-like uh, figure or solid and basically we just get the volume as pi r squared and thickness and that is v is equal to pi and then the radius here is y squared and the thickness is dx so that's why we arrive on this formula so basically we'll, we'll not just uh, simply look at the formula but rather we need to look at the figure that is being formed upon rotation at the rotating axis so if the figure form is uh, a disc then put in the volume for this and then try to integrate okay. So let's have the volume, so that is equal to pi. Integral of y here is, so this is y squared is equal to x squared, 1 minus x squared. Therefore, y squared here is equal to x squared, 1 minus x squared dx. Limits x1 to x2, we have their farthest to the left, 0. Farthest to the right, we have 1. So, volume now is equal to... So that is shift pi integral of alpha x squared times 1 minus alpha x squared 
and the limits are 0 to, 0 to 1. That is 0.419 or that is 2 over 5 pi. So, 2 over 15, I should say, 2 over 15 pi cubic units. Since we already have the value for y bar, let's solve for the x bar. Now for the uh, volume, uh, for the uh, value of uh, x bar, we need this formula. V x bar is equal to integral of x c d v. So v is equal to uh, v x bar is equal to integral of x c d and we have dv as here so this is actually dv is equal to pi y squared dx or that is dv is equal to this one here that is pi Says so there x squared 1 minus x squared. So that is dv. Then for xc, the xc is the distance of the centroid of the area strip to the origin. So that is xc is equal to x. So we have there v as 2 over 15 pi x bar is equal to integral of xc as x then dv as pi x squared 1 minus x squared d uh, so this is dx okay. so dx so x1 to x2 that is 0 to 1 so we now have 2 over 15 pi x bar is equal to uh, okay, let's just make a new one here it is integral of oops, integral of alpha x shift pi alpha x alpha x squared 1 minus alpha x squared. Okay. 0 to 1. So that is pi over 12. Pi over 12. Cancel here the pi. So x bar is now equal to Now equal to 1 over 12 divided by 2 over 15. So that is 5, 8. So this is 5, 8. Therefore, centroid is at 5 over 8, 0, 0. The 0 here, that's why we have here uh, 3 uh, coordinates is because we have the z-axis also here. 4 three-dimensional figures. So that's why we have here 5 over 8, 0, 0. So that's for number 1. Let's look at the number 2. So for number 2, find the centroid of the volume formed by revolving around the line x is equal to negative 1, the area bounded by y is equal to x raised to 3, 
y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. So, for sketching, first the, the curve y is equal to x cubed. So, that is y x. If, uh, so what we are sketching here is y is equal to x raised to 3. So, if uh, x is equal to 0, y is 0. If x is equal to 1, y is 1. If x is equal to 0 0.5, that is 0 0.5 raised to 3, that is 0.125. If, yeah, if x is equal to 0 0.75, that is 0 0.42 for the y. So here is the sketch of the curve and the location of the lines. So this blue line, uh, this blue curve here is the curve y is equal to x raised to 3. And the orange line here is x is equal to negative 1. And it says here that the volume formed by revolving around the line x is equal to negative 1. So, the axis of revolution is at this point. If this is the axis of revolution, we can therefore conclude that bar x is equal to negative 1. Then, the other line is this green line here is the boundary for the area. So, that is x is equal to 0. Ay, x is equal to 1. x is equal to 1. And the other boundary is the y is equal to 0 or the origin. So, at point 0 for x, we have here y is equal to 0. And where can we locate the y is equal to 0? Where is y0 located? y0 is the same as the x-axis. This is also y is equal to 0. So the boundaries are the x-axis, the curve, and the line. x is equal to 1. So this is the area that we are considering which if we revolve around x is equal to negative 1 we will form a solid figure so if we revolve that a figure will be formed something like That's why this is the center. And what we're just uh, looking for here is the value of y bar. Okay, first let's solve for the volume. So if we are going to use the, so here uh, I already put here vertical area strip. If we have here a vertical area slip and then this is the axis of revolution, the figure being formed will be a cylinder. So if this is the axis of rotation, x is equal to negative 1. Therefore, what we are forming using the vertical area strip is a cylinder so we are going to use the cylindrical method
or the shell metal, cylindrical shell metal. So volume, how do we get the volume of this? If this is radius, then this is the height. So the volume there is pi r so pi r squared each you can have that but if we are considering the uh, the area strip that means it will be hollow inside that's why it's not just only a cylinder but it is a shell then with the thickness of dx so this is the thickness so volume for that is 2 pi radius the height and then the thickness using the, uh, the area strip we have there 2 pi the radius is so what will become of the radius here so let's have if this is the origin 0 we can have that as x height if this is 0 then the height becomes y then the thickness is dx so we have here d volume is equal to 2 pi integral of x y dx since we have here dx so it is x1 to x2 now this figure here is if the axis of rotation is at the origin but how about if the axis of rotation is not in the point of origin so if we derive that remember that what we did for the radius is from the rotating axis up to the the uh, the outer skin of the shell therefore if this is the rotating axis then the radius is located at or the radius is this this is going to be the radius or this is r the radius so how will we get the value of r so with this value here it is what distance is this the distance here is one unit the distance here is x unit therefore radius is equal to x plus one so the radius in our derivation a while ago the radius is the x so we will put here x as the x plus 1 that's the radius next how about y so let's have the value for y y here is the height so y is the distance from this portion here the boundary that is being touched by the area strip on the upper limit on the upper part and then this is the lower part that's why we have y here as also the y upper minus the y lower so what is the y upper here because definitely y lower is equal to zero so y upper is the curve y is equal to x raised to 3 minus lower limit 0. The x, then we have the lower limit 
for the area the farthest to the left which is x is equal to 0 the farthest to the right x is equal to 1 so now we have this volume we can now compute for the volume so we have 2 pi integral of alpha x plus 1 alpha x raised to 3 or if the calculator is strict with the parentheses or we have this like then the limits are 0 to 1 so that is 9 over 10 pi cubic units so we have 9 over 10 pi cubic units. So having the volume now, we can solve for y bar because we already have x bar. For y bar, we have their volume y bar is equal to integral of yc dv. And we have their v y bar is equal to integral of yc dv. So dv here is equal to this portion here. This one and this one. So this one here and this one also. But we will be getting this. So dv is 2 pi x plus 1 x raised to 3 dx. How about YC? YC is the distance of the center of the area strip to the origin. So that is YC is equal to Y over 2. So V is 9 over 10 pi Y bar is equal to integral of yc of y over 2 then dv is 2 pi x plus 1 x raised to 3 dx since this is dx we have the limits x1 to x2 or that is 0 to 1 so 9 over 10 pi y bar is equal to Here we will just add y over 2. Okay. So I think it's already there. Okay. So it's equal to 11 over 30. Raised to 3, okay, so that is 11 over 30. Okay, 11 over 35. Then cancel pi, so y bar now is equal to we have 11 over 30. That is equal to uh, divided by 9 over 10 this okay so did we get all the values correct y c y2 oops ok 
Okay, let's check. Ah, okay. So this is why. So that's why I was quite lost. So this is y here, and this should not be y, but we need to make all of this as x since we are using the x. Okay. So this is y here is y upper minus y lower. So that is so y upper minus y lower and then divided by 2. That's why we have here 2. So our y upper here is x raised to 3 divided by 2. So we have 2 pi x plus 1 x raised to 3 dx 0 to 1. Okay, so 9 over 10 pi y bar is equal to now this time we can have this correctly. So 2 pi integral of so we have here alpha x raised to 3 divided by 2 then Let's put here parentheses. Then we have alpha x plus 1. Then alpha x raised to 3. Then lower limit 0, upper limit 1. It's 15 over 56 pi. So we have here 15 over 56 pi. Then cancel pi here. So, y bar is now equal to 15 over 56 divided by 9 over 10. So, that is equal to, I think, no, that is incorrect. It should be 15 uh, should be 15 over 56 over 9 then 10. Okay. So this one is the right one. 25 over 84. 25 over 84 or that is uh, 0 0.3. Therefore, centroid is at our bar x. By inspection, we were able to get it negative 1. Then our y bar is 25 over 84. Then our z here is 0. So this is for number 3. Now, this is just the first solution. The reason why this is the first solution is we can possibly use or we can use the horizontal area strip. Now, what will happen if we use the horizontal area strip? Will the answer be the same? Let's see. So, using the horizontal area strip, having the Access of rotation here by inspection again bar x or x bar is equal to negative one because this is x is equal to negative one. Then we have here so this is x is equal to one. Okay. Now looking for the volume if we are using the the uh, horizontal area strip, the figure that will be formed, we rotate it here around this axis. The figure form is a ring, the ring or the washer. So the 
point with a hole in the middle. Okay, the uh, washer method, the ring. The volume for uh, the volume that we uh, the formula for volume for ring here is we have pi the the area the area of the circle the bigger circle minus the area of the smaller circle so pi uh, radius outside radius outside squared minus the radius inside squared and then multiplied with the thickness t using the uh, area strip we have the volume as pi then we have the x right squared minus x left squared and the thickness here is the y so we have here for the volume as pi integral of x right squared minus x left squared dy since this is dy we have here y1 2 y2 so volume is equal to pi integral of x right our x right here is 1 and the x left is this curve y is equal to x raised to 3 or that is x is equal to y raised to one third. So we have one squared minus, or I think we are not simply doing the radius as one minus the curve. Okay. Again, we will need to consider the figure before we proceed with the formula or else we will arrive at the wrong answer. Looking at the figure again, if the axis of rotation is not on the x and y axis, we need to be very careful and consider the figure form. So we have here the radius outside. So imagine this is the ring and this is the axis of rotation rotating at this point. So we have here the R outside, then we have the R inside. So our R outside here is this point here. Then R inside is at this point. So we have here R outside is equal to this is one unit plus another one here is one unit because this is X is equal to one. Therefore, R outside is one plus one. How about for the R inside? R inside is equal to location here, which is 1 unit plus the distance here, which is X. So we have R, out, R inside as 1 plus the X. So this is... 1 and then this is x. So if I put it in the formula, if I input that in the formula, we have the x right, x right being the r outside, that is 1 plus 1 squared minus the x left, the x left or the r inside. 
and that will be 1 plus or the ring inside is 1 plus x raised to power of 2 and that is in dy and then for the limits we have the lowest point 0 for y1 highest point of y there is 1 can we now proceed solving not yet because we're using here dy therefore we need to transform this into y so b is equal to pi integral of 2 squared that is 4 minus 1 plus this is x here x here is the x right minus the x left so we can have that as let's use some bracket 4 squared minus 1 plus x right is 1 minus x left is y raised to the power of 1 third or yeah it's already oh, I already considered that that this is squared so we have here the x as already the value of x okay so yeah i'm overthinking it a bit that is 4 minus 1 plus this is already the value of x here which is the x is equal to y raised to 3 y raised to 1 third I should say 1 third squared dy the reason is what we did a while ago for the ring inside is 1, so have here, 1 plus x. So the x here being from this point of origin up to the curve. So that's already, so that's already x right, which is y raised to 1 third, and x left as x is equal to 0. Almost get myself there. So V is equal to, so limit is 0 to 1. So V is now equal to shift by integral of 4 minus 1 plus alpha x raised to. 1 over 3 1 over 3 squared okay. then 0 to 1 okay syntax ah okay so we're missing one parenthesis here so 9 over 10 cubic units 9 over 10 pi cubic units and this is the same with the volume we have computed a while ago yes it's still the same so you can use this as a way for checking next what we're looking for is the y bar so this integral of y c b v now for the dv, we need to use now the simplified one. This is the dv. So this is dv here, pi, 4 minus 1 plus y raised to 1 third squared dy. And then yc is the location of the, the uh, center of the area strip up to the point of origin so this is yc is equal to y 
So, B is 9 over 10 pi y bar is equal to y and then db is pi 4 minus 1 plus y raised to 1 third squared dy. There's a lot of parentheses and this is cancel pi so 9 over 10 y bar is equal to y 4 minus 1 plus y raised to 1 third squared dy. So limits are 0 to 1. So 9 over 10 y bar is equal to then we will just add here or remove the pi then add y alpha x equals 15 over 56 so 15 over 56 y bar is equal to so we have here 15 over 56 then 9 over 10 25 over 84 this is 25 over 84 or that is 0.3 therefore yes the same centroid is at negative 1 25 over 84 0 because we are considering three axes for volume this is the x y and z axis okay so that's all for this video so we have two methods the uh, for number two the first solution is the shell method so here using the shell method and then the second solution so this is the second solution using the ring method